We're going to demonstrate a repeated measures analysis of variance in SPSS. Notice that we have anxiety scores taken one day before, one hour after, and one day after the graduate record exam. To analyze this data, we go to Analyze, General Linear Model, Repeated Measures. Essentially, factor one is the default title, but I'm going to call it time. And we have three time points, and I add that. Click the Define button. I'll see my three anxiety variables there. Move those all over. Sometimes it's nice to get a plot. So we'll put time on the horizontal axis. Click Add and Continue. Say OK. Look at our output. It says we have these three variables in the analysis. We're going to skip this entirely. We're going to come down here and look at the tests of within subjects effects. We will see that we have uh, several rows here and we're going to look at this row, sphericity assumed, sums of squares 440, the F is 136, and the significance is 0 0.001. That suggests that there is a difference between anxiety in time 1, time 2, and time 3 measurements. Now, this is about all we need to look at here, but if we were to do, say, an LSD type procedure to compare time 1 to time 2, and time 2 to time 3, we need to go back here to compare means, to pairwise samples t-test, and then click in the appropriate pairs, anxiety 1 and 2, anxiety 1 and 3, and anxiety 2 and 3. We run these analyses, what we find is that if we look at the significance, the t-values are here, significance values are here, we find that the difference between anxiety 1 and 2 is statistically significant. The difference between 1 and 3 is not, but the difference between 2 and 3 is also statistically significant. Now if you remember, anxiety 2 is taken one hour after the graduate record exam. Anxiety 1 is taken a day before, and anxiety 3 is taken a day after. What this might seem to suggest is that anxiety an hour after the graduate record exam is higher than a day before and also higher than a day after.